Hey, I'm Sean Martin, president and founder of Donix Snowboards. I am here with uh, Mike Kildevald. He is... What? I said hi. He says hi. Okay. <laughs> Mike is a legend in the snowboard racing world. If you have not followed racing as long as I have, you wouldn't know this. But uh, he kind of thought up the idea of plates back in the 80s, right? In the 90s? When was, when was Eight, the Kildy Flex? I, I would say 90, 92 for sure, but I already uh -huh. had him going. I would say the thoughts came in 89. Yep. 90. So he's kind of the, I would say, kind of the father of uh, modern snowboard racing. Um, and a year ago, he came and saw me at Nationals, which is where we're at right now, and showed me this really cool device. And I think, I think that'll come up. So anyways, uh, if you have been following anything on hard booting, you've seen pictures of this, you've seen a little teeny bit of video and had some conversations. So I was dying to get out on it this year. And so I'm about to take my second run. First run went really well. Uh, I was able to carve the way I do as a recreational carver. And Mike is of course carving like a racer. So um, I'm gonna let him tell us a little bit about this and uh, kind of maybe what inspired him to do it. Uh, the inspiration's a little bit trippy, so <laughs> maybe I don't want to get totally into that, but I, I mean, honestly, I, I, I made this for myself. Um, I, I make a lot of stuff for myself and I don't really try to, you know, sell it or whatever. But then, you know, years went by, I started improving it, and then, now I've been on this for four years, just in case anyone was curious. This is the fourth year. And um, I decided at the beginning of last summer that I got to make this thing available uh, to everybody. So that's what I've done. I mastered it. I mean, believe me, I got OCD. So <laughs> it's uh, prototyping when you know uh, it takes a long time. But the basics of, I mean, it's a plate like any other plate, let's just say, maybe not. But, um, but what it has is two derbies within one, and that's unique. Uh, the ski portion has a derby where it slides, and then I put the plate on top, which is magnesium, and that also slides. The whole thing that makes, in my opinion, makes it unique, besides being a ski snowboard or whatever, but the plate portion is that it slides asymmetrically. And I'm allowed to do that because I have two skis. Because when, when you slide, one ski is gonna get, sh a ski is gonna get shorter than the plate. It's gonna come towards the plate, okay? So that's if it's sliding in the tip. If it's sliding in the tail, the tail is gonna come towards the plate. So it's kind of a funny visual, but I have it all set up asymmetrically. And I cried when I mistakenly figured that out. Um, and that's that was it. That's when I said, I'm selling this thing. <laughs> so, that's it, sorry, that's the end of my story. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna get a little footage so that you guys out there, I know there's been a lot of guys who are like, oh, you can't carve on that thing, that doesn't work. So, uh, I know I'm not curvy like I normally do, uh, but it definitely works and it's, it's really cool. Uh, the geometries I'm riding are different than usual. I'm on a 155 with a 12 meter side cut and I'm on a plate, which I haven't been on a plate in, I don't know, five or six years, I think. So there's a lot of changes for me, uh, but I am able to hook it up, make it come around, carve across the slope the way us free carvers do. It definitely works. So super intriguing technology, really cool device. And uh, yeah, let's go have a run. 